If you've watched anything I've done, you know that I hate writing too much stuff. So, uh, I just, I, I have an issue where I need, basically, if I pull this up, um, if I need to this next screen, I need this to save the current session data. Um, it, it needs to save the information here. That way, when I, like, if I type in something, if I delete city and go to the next page, I need it to stay there. Obviously, I, it can't be gone, but I need it to stay there. So, I had an issue where if we put it in, so say, let's do first name. Uh, if we take first name and we, if we don't have anything, okay, if we just leave a blank, okay, we don't do anything at all, here's what happens to first name. Uh, we open it up, we put in our first name, Sean, and we go to the next screen, oh, email, whatever. We go to the next screen, okay, that's fine. This is not a real credit card, it's PayPal, a sandbox credit card, by the way. Uh, we go back, it'll still be there, because it's still in the cache, but but if we close it down and, and open it back up, it's uh, it's gone. So, that, that that's quite a problem, because we need it, to say, obviously, the user's now upset with us. So, we we are saving the data, we're just not bringing it back. So here's how you bring it back. Uh, first, you get some PHP in here. Now, because this is, whole thing is PHP. So first, you would think, okay, well, it's in the session, it's in buyer, and then uh, there's an, this is an object, and there's a property called uh, first name. That's the property, okay? Uh, but the problem with that is it'll work great now, because it's already set. See, it's working. But if I clear the shopping cart and go back, now it's giving me errors because there's no buy, there's there's no index buyer of my session. The session's been cleared. It's gone. So we need now not to just do this, but now we need to say if is set underscore session buyer. Right. Close that. Let me give you so you can see what I'm doing here. If that's set, then do that. Okay? So that's the proper thing to do. But that's way too much to put in here. That's way too much. So what I did is if you can see down here at at S last name, I made a function called S. And you pass it the the property. So I would pass it first name here. So if we go down and look at S, S is just a way to make things shorter. So it's function S passes in T. If is set session buyer return session buyer property t else return blank so now i i minimified the amount i have to write so you can see all of them are s email s zip and it's really it, it keeps the flow of the code cuz obviously if this was all over the place the code would look really messy and hard to read but with this function here now it's really quick and simple for me to do that so all i have to do for this is delete that and say okay it's just s and the property is first name and and that's it now uh... it'll check if it's set if it is set it'll use it if it's not it'll be blank which is exactly what we need to capture the session data